All right, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Over YouTube, Pastor Dow here. I have an extremely important message here this morning. And the whole sole purpose of this message right here is to try my best to give you and feed you with knowledge and understanding. Now, in this world today, or especially over here in America, there's been an institution that has risen up it's still fairly new because it's not as old as Israel. And let me clarify this. When you hear someone like myself say Israel, we're not talking about that created nation that was created in 1948 by the Belfort Agreement with Great Britain and the United States when they decided to take a bunch of Ashkenazi uh, Jews from the Caucasus Mountains and then place them in the land of Palestine and then call them Israel. That's two total different people. That is a political Israel. Then there's the natural branch, the spiritual Israel. Those, like myself, we are the ones that are in this, this dysphoria. We are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So when you read the Bible, don't make the mistake like so-called, quote unquote, Judeo-Christians do. And as soon as you read about Israel, you automatically make the association of those new people that are there in that land that has never been in that land, that has no genetic link to that land, and, and um, has actually um, come and adopted the ways of the scattered Israelites. Now, some way, somehow, because of false teachings in Christianity and false narratives that have been put forth, somehow the world assumes that when they pick up their Bible, they're automatically associated with the Ashkenazi Jews, people from the Caucasus Mountains. No, they are actually descendants of Japheth. They're not descendants of Shem. That's what I am. That's what a lot of the Israelites are that are scattered throughout this world. All right, so now we got that right. Okay, so in Christianity, they've got people believing that there's Israel and then the church. And in that, they have started making, just like Daniel said, there will be Someone that will come that will seek to change laws, times, and seasons. You'll read about that in Daniel 7. That is what's going on. And so now you got this new found religion called Christianity that was actually coined uh, by the Roman Emperor Constantine. Uh, it started in 312 and it was solidified in 325 AD. And in that, they introduced something that was that those who are students of the Bible and really truly comprehend and understand it. Uh, be you a stranger or grafted in or an original bloodline Israelite, um, we never, ever, ever accept and nor, do we, nor have we ever believed that Yah repealed the Sabbath day and changed it from the seventh day of the week to the first day of the week, unlike Christianity, tries to convince you. You know, they do a lot of twisting, warping, and distorting of the culture of what you read about in that Bible to try to make it a fit, make it fit and associate with their false religion today. And this is the confusion that is going on with many people. When you read that Bible, you're gonna read about the history of a, a Pacific demographics of people. And like I say it again, I'll reiterate, it's not talking about those um, uh, Ashkenazi Khazarian Khazars uh, from the Caucasus Mountains who was transplanted into that land by the United States and Great Britain in the Balfour Agreement. It's not talking about them. It's talking about to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered abroad. And when you read the apostles, they systemically continue to keep reminding us of that over and over again. So you got this religion called Christianity, uh, which Moses didn't know. Abraham definitely didn't know. David didn't know. Um, Jesus never preached it, never taught it, and never even, never even, it wasn't even a thought. None of the apostles knew it, contrary to the insertion of the pensionship of the scribe that would insert if any man suffer as a Christian. When you go look behind the words, and that's what a lot of lazy Americans never do is study. They never look behind the words to see what the original meaning and intent of that word was. So what they do, they automatically assume this is what they do. They automatically assume and, and they say, okay, it says a Christian. So they automatically associate it with 
the, the Christianity that was introduced to us by Rome. Make no mistake about it. If you're a Christian in any way, shape, fashion, or form, you're basically a Protestant or Protestant or someone that protests um, against the Roman Catholic Church. But you still follow the laws, the statutes, the commandments, the rules, the guidelines, and the dictates and the mandates, the sacraments, and everything else that the Catholic Church does, you do. For instance, the Catholic Church uh, keeps Sunday. You keep Sunday. There's no commandment in the Bible where the Sabbath has ever been repealed. Nowhere. You'll see the footprint of Jesus as well as his apostles after the death, burial, and resurrection, keeping the Shabbat. And in what you call the New Testament, it still continues to be the Shabbat. So basically what we've got is we've got people who have been deceived, tricked, and duped into sun worship. So when you get stuff like Christmas and Easter and Sunday, if you read the Bible... In its totality, from Genesis to Revelation, you will not see any instruction, no rules, no guidelines in how to perform these um, holidays that the world seems to be steeped in and think that they're giving honor to Jesus. And Jesus says, in vain do you worship me for the teaching of the doctrines of the commandments of man Full well, you reject the commandments of Yah that you may keep your own traditions. And that's what's going on today is that people, they're out here in vain worship and they're trying to create a God. They're trying to create a way that suits them based on cultural environment. And they're truly missing the mark. Um, and that's the reason why the most high um, Yah is going to say, Look, you depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. A worker of iniquity is someone that is flat out lawless, disobedient. Uh, they have uh, no respect and no honor to the commandment of Yah whatsoever at all. They would rather continue to keep doing what they want to do and present just like uh, Cain did in the garden. This is what we have to offer to you. This is what you're going to accept. And because... Today, Christian religion and all other uh, religions that is associated with Christianity, that even while they're trying to distance themselves from being Christian because they're becoming a little bit more informed today, they're still uh, worshiping. They're still resting on Sunday. They still are doing um, uh, Easter. They still are doing uh, Christmas. They still are doing every single thing contrary to what the book says. And I challenge you, go and look. And see, in your Bible, is there a day in there called Sunday that the Mosiah Yah or Jesus himself instituted and changed it from Saturday to Sunday and all the instruction? Because remember, the one thing we know about the book is, is that Yah says over and over and over again, I am Yahweh, your Elohim, I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if you get anything that's presented to you, that's, that's trying to convince you that the creator universe has changed. I don't know how I'll put that thing on airplane mode so that people can't contact me while I'm doing a video and yet the call still goes through. Can somebody please tell me what's going on? What is really going on? So anyway, anyway, I lost my train of thought there, but I think that many of you get the picture. Listen, there has been a religion out here that has a form of godliness. It denies the power. And some of you have been reared and raised in this. You know, in slavery, when you when people's out there buck dancing and cooning and everything else, and when you, it was forbidden for you to read and write, now when you go to these churches, there's already an institution in place, and they tell you what the Bible says, and then when you when they tell you what the scripture says, then you look through the lenses of what they say, and then you sit there head bob, and you're using no self autonomy whatsoever at all, none whatsoever at all to be able to comprehend what the book is really saying. What does scriptures really say? That should be a coined term in this daytime and hour. Because I can tell you, when I was in the Baptist church and in the churches of Christ um, and, and, um, and in the holiness, um, I, I was like, wow. And then I started reading that Bible for myself, which was the biggest mistake I probably could have ever made, which was the most was the greatest mistake I ever made, and I'm happy for it. When I started reading them scriptures for myself, I was like, wait a minute, this thing says something other than what we're doing. And I had enough honor to go to the bishop, the older man, the elder of the assembly, 
and questioned him on it, and it didn't go too well. And that's the reason, one reason why it don't go too well, because you're going to find out that while you're being religious and stuff, they're fleecing the flock of y'all. Uh, that religion of Christianity is mostly about money and not about your soul salvation and your separation from this world. It's bad what's going on in this daytime and hour. It really truly is. I hope I said something to stimulate thought. I hope you get what I said. If you don't, listen, I have a series on this YouTube channel. Um, you can type it in. Israelite versus Christianity. Um, go and type that in. There's like a six, seven part series. It's broken down in 10 minute increments. Have your Bible with you and you're going to be surprised because we're going to talk about the seven day Sabbath in there. And we're going to talk about different things uh, concerning uh, the truth um, and the lie. Now remember what Revelations 2, 9 and 3, 9 says. I know them that say that they are Jews. And if you notice, I don't never say I'm a Jew. Any Israelite never says that they're Jews. We are Yehudims. There's a people that say that they're Jews. And the book says and are not. They do lie. I know them that say they are Jews, but they are the synagogue, meaning they are the church of Satan. And that don't apply to us because we don't call ourselves that. So it's amazing how dumb Christianity is. They call themselves Judeo-Christians. That's what they say. Judeo-Christians. That's what they say, right? So they call themselves Judeo-Christians, and yet and still, they don't follow the people who they call Israel, what they do. And then on the flip side, the people that's over in Israel, they reject the Messiah. They reject Jesus Christ, Yahshua HaMashiach. They, re they, they reject him vehemently. As a matter of fact, you cannot even become an Israeli citizen and, until you d renounce and denounce Jesus Christ. You don't believe me? Go check that out. Well, how do you know that, Pastor Dow? Because we had a sister in the ministry who actually lived over in Israel uh, for many, many years. And she told us everything about it. And then when you research it, it is a fact. So who is Antichrist? And who is Anti-Messiah? You see, that's much to be desired. Y'all got a lot of looking into this. Y'all really truly do. And hey, you've been sold a bill of goods. You've been sold a lie. You've been run amok by these false religious teachers. You really truly have. But until you get clear yourself, until you do your own due diligence, and until you determine to do your own individual research, you're going to have these people that are set up to deceive you on purpose. These people are set up to keep you asleep. But you have to wake up out of their sleep. And you are the one that must prove all things and hold fast to that which is good. I hope I said something to stimulate thought. Check it out. I'll be on tonight, uh, well, uh, Friday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Blog Talk Radio and this YouTube channel live. I'm usually there stay putting forth this truth. I hope that some way, somehow, that I said something to put a defibrillator on your mind that will literally cause you to study and show yourself approved. Remember, go check out my series, Israelite versus Christianity. Check it out and have your Bible with you for yourself. And let's just let every man be a liar and let y'all be the truth. Y'all have a wonderful day. King coming.